So there's this little kid, see? Creepy little fucker next door. Had glasses and something wrong with his foot. I don't know, seven maybe. Anyhow, every time his dad went fishing, he'd bring this kid back some frogs. They built this little fence around him to keep him in, like pets or something. And we'd try to go over and see him, but he'd start screaming to his mother to come out and get rid of us. Real snooty lag. So we just got sick of him being such good goody. And one night, me and June snuck over there and put all those dumb old frogs in this sack. <laughs> you never heard such a fuss. Ribbit. Slimy bastards frogs. We was planning to let them go all over the place. But when they started jumping and all, we just figured they was asking for it. So we'd take them out to the front porch and throw them one at a time out into the street. <laughs> Some of them, <laughs> some of them hit cars going by, but most of them just got squashed. You know, run over. It was great seeing how far we could throw them over the back of our backs, under our legs. God, it was really fun watching them fly through the air and then just splat on somebody's car window. <laughs> um, then the next day we was waiting. This little com kid comes out in the backyard looking for his stupid frogs, and he don't see any. And he gets so crazy crying and everything. <laughs> so, so me and June goes over and tells him that we've seen this big mess out in the street. And he goes out and sees all them frog legs and bodies and shit all over everywhere. <laughs> Man, it was so funny. We about killed ourselves laughing. <laughs> Then his mother come out, and she wouldn't let him go out and pick up all the pieces. So he just had to stand there watching all the cars go by, smushing his babies right into the street. I was going to run out and get him a frog's head, but June's yelling at me, Arlie, get over here before some car slips on them frog ruts and crushes into you. <laughs> I never had so much fun in one day in all my life.